hey everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video if you are new here i really want to encourage you please do subscribe um, if you enjoy beauty fashion lifestyle and christian content then this is the channel for you so today guys we are going to be reviewing just three okay so i can keep it short because my videos are quite long of my very favorite middle eastern fragrances some you may have heard of some not so much but i'm very excited you know middle eastern fragrances are absolutely beautiful they are very concentrated very potent so two sprays and you are good to go for a while a while um and they are very affordable as well which i love um and they stand the test of time definitely so i'm just going to review very quickly three of my favorite ones that i've been wearing and one that i recently purchased as well or that i was blessed with and yeah let's get into it okay guys so these are the three the first one is yara um by the house of Latafa. the second one is barakat gentle gold this is a dupe for mason francis kirk de john's um gentle fluidity gold which is extremely expensive and then lastly we have the price african dessert and i think this is from fragrance world actually not too sure where this one is from someone gifted me this as well but you can type the name in your google search bar and you'll find it there very inexpensive as well so yeah let's start with we'll start with barakat gentle gold now the packaging alone i think this was 200 rand it was marked down from 250 or 300 i purchased it for 300 rand this is a beautiful box stunning for the price and then let's open it and this is the bottle you can see stunning bottle the juice is kind of like a light pink purplish color but i mean the quality of this bottle alone for 200 rand it's like wow and this was purchased from i think it was dubai perfumes um but it's manufactured by fragrance world in the uae and this is the fragrance world logo on the top of the cap okay so since I've watched a lot of these reviews, I'm just going to do the standard thing. This is a very heavy bottle. This is a plastic cap. Okay. Now, this fragrance. I love, guys. I love when I tell you, like, I think one of my dreams one day is to have my own fragrance out. Because... You know, certain people like certain things, like some people like clothes, some people are into, what, makeup. For me, recently, the past year and a half, perfumes. So I've been watching so many reviews, um, smelling so many fragrances, and yeah, this just excites me. This is so good. And this, I have smelled the original. So I'm not telling you guys just um, how this smells. I'm comparing it to the original, which is extremely expensive. It's around 4,000 Rand. This is 200 Rand. And I mean, the bottle is basically a complete copycat of the original bottle. But let me read the notes to you. Um, and I know a lot of people also don't um, really understand notes in fragrances. So I'm going to try and describe these fragrances as best as I can. Hey guys, so these are the three. The first one is Yara um, by the House of Latafa. The second one is Barakat 
Gentle Gold. This is a dupe for Mason Francis Kirk de Jones um, Gentle Fluidity Gold, which is extremely expensive. And then lastly, we have the right African Dessert. And I think this is from Fragrance World. Actually, not too sure where this one is from. Someone gifted me this as well, but you can type the name in your Google search bar and you'll find it there. Very inexpensive as well. So yeah, let's start with, we'll start with Barakat Gentle Gold. Now the packaging alone, I think this was 200 Rand. It was marked down from 250 or 300. I purchased it for 300 Rand. This is a beautiful box. Stunning for the price. And then let's open it. And this is the bottle. You can see. Stunning bottle. The juice is kind of like a light pink, purplish color. But I mean, the quality of this bottle alone for 200 Rand, it's like, wow. And this was purchased from, I think it was Dubai Perfumes. Um, but it's manufactured by Fragrance World in the UAE and this is the Fragrance World logo on the top of the cap Okay, so Since I've watched a lot of these reviews, I'm just gonna do the standard thing. This is a very heavy bottle This is a plastic cap. Okay Now this fragrance I love guys. I love when I tell you, like, I think one of my dreams one day is to have my own fragrance out. Because, you know, certain people like certain things. Like, some people like clothes. Some people are into, what, makeup. For me, recently, the past year and a half, perfumes. So, I've been watching so many reviews. Um, smelling so many fragrances and yeah this just excites me <sighs> this is so good and this I have smelled the original so I'm not telling you guys just um, how this smells I'm comparing it to the original which is extremely expensive it's around 4,000 Rand this is 200 Rand and I mean the bottle is basically a complete copycat of the original bottle but let me read the notes to you um, and I know a lot of people also don't um, really understand notes in fragrances so I'm gonna try and describe these fragrances as best as I can okay so let's read the notes so the top notes um, is juniper berries the middle note is nutmeg and coriander and the base notes are musks ambery woods and vanilla now this fragrance is a predominantly vanilla fragrance and a musky fragrance but it's absolutely beautiful when I first smelled this I was first of all in love now it is a sweet fragrance it's not very overly sweet but it is a sweet fragrance because of that vanilla that is very potent in here this is so stunning so for me this is like an ethereal fragrance so okay first thing that came to mind let me not get ahead of myself I said to my husband, this smells like Tinkerbell would wear it. This is what Tinkerbell smells like. Like a fairy. It's ethereal. It's soft. But it's there. It's sparkly. It's sweet. It is absolutely stunning. This smells so beautiful. I also see a bride wearing this. Um, on a wedding day, maybe a bridal shower, your kitchen tea, whatever it may be. This is exactly 
the fragrance that I picture a bride wearing. It is soft, but beautiful. It is sparkly. It is elegant. It is uber feminine. It is an absolutely stunning fragrance and the performance is even better. So on my skin, I'm getting about eight to 10 hours of wear on this which is outstanding for 200 rand fragrance so you will smell yourself now this doesn't project like crazy and what i mean by project is it leaves a trail so people will smell you as you walk by if there's just a complete scent bubble it's not going to project like crazy it might or it does project the first two hours two and a half hours and from there it is a skin scent which means it stays close to the skin people will really only smell you if they come close to you but you can smell it on yourself it does create a beautiful scent bubble um, and it's absolutely stunning so projection is let's rate it so the scent itself will give it i'll give it a 10 out of 10 longevity 10 out of 10 projection will give it an 8 out of 10 two and a half hours when you first spray this fragrance will project and then the sillage which is like that scent bubble around you this is 10 out of 10 it's a beautiful fragrance if you are getting married um, it can even be an everyday fragrance but for me it's a very special it's soft it's beautiful i mean that juniper berry comes oh it's so beautiful and then that vanilla but it's airy it's not too strong that's why i say a bride can rock this like this is one of those fragrances that when you smell it you'll just you remember the day you wore it you remember what you're doing you remember who you were with it is an absolutely beautiful fragrance and i mean just the quality of this packaging guys let me put the cap on for you the quality of this bottle if you go and google the original bottle it's very similar it just doesn't have the gold plaque but it's basically i don't know how they get away with this hey because it's very similar to the original bottle but yeah this is gonna last you a while and for 200 rand it is a steal it is a beautiful bottle it is a beautiful fragrance with amazing performance now for me personally some some fragrance must smell great but does it last right i don't want to spend my money on something that's not gonna last it's a very inoffensive fragrance as well so people are not gonna you know get offended by it they're gonna rather ask you what are you wearing i need it i actually got like three compliments the first time i wore it so this is a compliment getter but it's a beautiful soft feminine ethereal beautiful fragrance and yeah if you're into those notes then i would suggest purchasing this one okay so the next one is african dessert and yes i do keep my boxes beautiful box as well absolutely love it i'm not sure who is the manufacturer of this but you can get it from yeah, I'll, I'll leave everything in the, in the description box below, but you can find it on the internet. And this is the bottle. Beautiful bottle. And this has lasted me, mm, let's say, four to five months. Yeah, it is extremely strong. It is extremely concentrated. This is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge, Mason Francis Kirk de Jones, the same um, perfumer that created Gentle Fluidity Gold. Um, he created African, not African dessert, sorry. He created um, Baccarat Rouge 540, excuse me. And this is a dupe for the extract version. So you'll get a clear bottle and then you will get a red bottle now this is a dupe for the red bottle that fragrance is like 8,000 Rand plus 
so yeah it is someone's salary it is extremely expensive it is a niche fragrance it's a luxury fragrance and it is a luxury brand so yeah it is extremely expensive i know in the usa in in dollars it's around three three hundred and fifty dollars or something like that i've smelled that as well i've smelled the original and this smells this smells identical to the original fragrance Baccarat Rouge 540 the extract version this smells like the original this is probably 98% like similar to the original fragrance people wouldn't know if you're wearing the original or if you're wearing this when you wear this this is a compliment getter the performance on this is excellent i mean everything in every sphere it's 10 out of 10 packaging 10 out of 10 not sure why it is in a blue bottle but packaging 10 out of 10 it's still pretty the juice is amazing projection 10 out of 10 crg 10 out of 10 lasting power 10 out of 10 you get 8 to 10 hours of wear on this fragrance people will smell you the whole day all day every day yeah on the skin as well it lasts very long on the clothes even longer you wash your clothes your clothes are still gonna smell like this and you may be asking shy what does it smell like like you're hyping this fragrance up so much what does it smell like let me give you the notes so the top notes are and it's the notes are identical to the original notes bitter almond saffron middle notes are egyptian jasmine cedar ambergris woody notes and musk um yeah i don't think there are any base notes so yeah so this is i'm gonna describe it for you this smells expensive a rich woman this is marketed as well as a unisex scent it smells good on men and women but for me it leans more feminine so yeah it smells rich let me just spray it on myself oh this this is so beautiful this smells rich it's sweet now this is the the extract version of the original one what does that mean this one is more intense it's more concentrated and it's a lot stronger than the original version they smell basically the same it's just that this one's got that bitter almond in it so it is a lot stronger this is sweet feminine you are smelling rich you are smelling like you have money it's clean oh my goodness it's so beautiful that saffron this is mastery like at its best what mason francis kirk de john did with this fragrance is he's like on another level everything works together beautifully now who would wear this fragrance where would you wear this fragrance when would you wear this fragrance i'm gonna tell you this is okay i don't like using this term but this is like i said money it smells very rich it's very regal it's an opulent fragrance so someone who a woman in particular who is in a very high position um she is running the corporate ladder she is an overachiever yeah she she's yeah an affluent woman that is who would wear this fragrance but the the average person can rock it as well it is absolutely beautiful it's also one of the most popular fragrances in the world 
Remember, this is just the dupe of the original. It smells almost identical to the original. So when you smell this, you're basically smelling the original fragrance as well. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's rich. It's strong. It's feminine. Oh, it's just absolutely amazing. So a very wealthy, young, strong woman would rock this fragrance. Yeah, I just see a woman in a corporate setting. Yeah, and as she enters the building, everyone are just is just taken back by her beauty, by her intelligence, and by the way she smells. But anyone can wear this. In my mind, that is just the picture I have of the woman that would wear this fragrance. I wear this fragrance not every day on special occasions. It is beautiful. And that is African Dessert. You can find it on the internet. And it is absolutely beautiful. Okay, we are on to the last fragrance, which I am actually the most excited about because it did arrive earlier today. Now, if you haven't seen this on your Facebook, on your Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok, yeah, I don't know where you've been. This fragrance is everywhere and it's probably one of the most popular Middle Eastern fragrances of the year. It is called Yara beautiful box beautiful pink and white box very feminine and it is from the fragrance house latafa in the uae i am obsessed with the packaging it's beautiful now they there's a lot of flankers to this fragrance this is the original so i know there is a white one there's an orange one there's this one and then there's a black one as well that one's called a sod and that is for men but this one i think the packaging sold me on it because it's extremely beautiful but also the notes really sold me on this fragrance now this did retail for 400 rand um and I purchased it as well on Dubai perfume. So most of these fragrances you should be able to find on Dubai perfumes. And yeah, like I said, it arrived today. This is the bottle. A very heavy bottle. It is plastic, but I mean, I honestly don't mind that. It is a beautiful bottle, light pink and silver. And as you can see, it says Yara. Now, this fragrance has been hyped all over social media. And I can understand why. Let me read the notes to you, okay? The top notes are Orchid, Heliotrope, and Tangerine. The middle notes are Gourmand Accord and Tropical Notes. Sorry, Tropical Fruits. And the base notes is Vanilla, Musk, and Sandalwood. So it is a fruity fragrance. It leans more fruity, although there is some florals in here with that Orchid. Let me spray it again. I sprayed it once when I received the package early on, but let me just spray it again. Oh my word, guys. I blind bought this. What is a blind buy? It's when you don't smell it before you buy it. So it's 50-50. It's you can love it or you can hate it. Oh my word. Oh, I, 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 let me tell you. If there's one that you need to get, guys, this is a hundred milliliter as well. This is gonna last you a while, okay? Let me just spray quickly. Oh my word. Oh 
this makes me so happy <laughs> literally this this was the best blind bag ever let me describe this to you okay in all honesty i'm gonna be completely honest <sighs> this is fluffy it is creamy it is powdery it is fruity milky that gourmand note in here it doesn't specify which which um gourmand accord is in here oh, but like berries berries strawberries maybe even a pomegranate Blueberries, cream. It is an ultra feminine fragrance. It is, and I maybe maybe to you the box may seem or the bottle may seem juvenile. No, honey, this is an actually like twenty-five. From, from the age of 25, I feel like you can wear this. If younger than 25, no. This is, oh. It is, guys, this is, I'm gasping. This is stunning. For 400 Rand, for 100 milliliter, this will last you a while. Now, I, I just know myself, this is going to be my next signature scent. I'm going to wear this to school. I'm wearing this to church. I'm wearing this to brunch. I'm wearing this with my husband. I'm wearing it to bed. It is intoxicating. Let me, it, it is intoxicating. Like, I just, I just want to smell myself. The beautiful powderiness of the sandalwood in the, in the dry down. It is absolutely amazing. It just ties everything together that beautiful tangerine note as well mm. it's subtle but people will smell you people are gonna smell you in a very subtle way um i haven't worn this yet which means i haven't gone out i haven't tested how long the fragrance lasts um i really hope that it does last um very long on my skin i mean like i said i want a strong scent and um yeah this is amazing guys that vanilla oh my gosh this is intoxicating this smells like the color pink this smells like the color pink and not like i'm saying like like i said sorry not in a juvenile way so not in a, a teenage way this is for a grown woman okay to wear this fragrance you need to be a grown woman not a child it is absolutely stunning now some people have said it smells like strawberry milkshake it does not smell like strawberry milkshake but i get it the creaminess and the strawberries in here the gourmand accord the fruitiness the berries this is berries and cream okay oh it's a stunning fruity fragrance it's very creamy it's milky it and it smells expensive this smells like a designer fragrance this does not smell like a middle eastern fragrance at all this is stunning <sighs> obsessed like obsessed awesome guys there you have it thank you so much for watching today and if you watched all the way through let me know in the comments down below which one sounds like it's really good like according to my description and which one are you thinking of picking up um they are very affordable i'll try and have prices linked down below in the description box below and i know i've been very inconsistent it's just the last six months of the year is extremely demanding so when i have the time then i'll get the content out and 
yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video please do subscribe if you haven't and also just like the video i mean come on guys it's, it's, i'm helping you smell good smelling good is a form of good manners so you might as well click the subscribe button and thank you so much for supporting my channel one thing i also want to say is that i enjoy fresh fragrances so i love fragrances that are fresh that smell like the ocean that smell aquatic that is what i love but recently i've just been enjoying sweeter fragrances fragrances that smell like candy fragrances that smell yummy so i've yeah i've really been been enjoying them but um i'll have a variety of videos out i'll be reviewing more fragrances this is not the last time that you're gonna see content like this um that yara this this perfume oh my word guys oh intoxicating anyway i'll see you guys next time have a wonderful week have a wonderful evening have a wonderful morning wherever you are watching from and just know that jesus loves you i'll see you soon